guys, welcome to day four of Vlogmas. Today we will be decorating the tree we got last night. We're finally in route to get our tree. Guys, look at this. So this is like a wood burning stove, but then in a enamel pot on top, they put pine and apples to make it smell good. Wow. Hello. I think we found it. It's a balsam fir, seven to eight feet, 64 buccaroni. Okay, you're coming with me. And we're also going to be baking some of the easiest bread you could ever bake in your entire lives. I learned how to do it here on YouTube. I will link the YouTube video below where I learned how to do it. It is honestly the easiest bread you're ever gonna make. So we are going to get the bread dough started. We're gonna let that rise. And while it's rising, we're gonna decorate the tree. So down below, I will have timestamps. If you want to make bread in the future, you can just watch the first part and then skip to the second part of the bread baking process. Okay, so let's hop on over, put our very simple ingredients together for this bread so that can rise while we are decorating. We have like a medium large size bowl. We need three cups of flour. It can be all-purpose flour. It can be whole wheat flour. Pretty much anything you like, anything you have on hand, three cups of that. So we just need a quarter teaspoon of yeast. It doesn't have to be fast acting or whatever. Whatever yeast is fine. So this is what I got. This is what we're using. One teaspoon of salt. All right, so we're just going to stir up our flour, yeast, and salt mixture. Then one and a half cups of really hot water. I just use the hottest water from my tap. And then we stir that together. So using hot water kind of makes this happen. So you can make this bread the same day, which is what we are going to do. You just mix it until it becomes a dough ball and all of the flour is kind of absorbed in there. And that's it. And then you just wrap it in plastic and let it sit here for like three hours. Let it sit in an area that's not too cold, not too hot. Let it sit for three hours. So normally I put my Christmas lights on like wrapping around, but I saw on TikTok, Somebody go like up and down. We're gonna try that this year. <laughs> this feels so weird, you guys. TikTok, you lied to me. This looks like garbage. No, I definitely don't like that. You can see exactly the pattern of the vertical strand. Nope, redo. This is what we got going on so far. This is all of the kind of glittery stuff. I did put a couple different hues of red in there. This whole box of like more kind of farmhouse stuff. So I'm gonna put these on there as well. Just load this baby up, be Christmas spectacular. love how this tree turned out, you guys. I think this is the most amount of ornaments I have ever put on a Christmas tree. I'm loving the mix of the glittery balls, the gold, silver, copper, and then all the cute little kind of rustic ornaments as well. Super adorable, a little kind of glam farmhouse. Loving this tree this year. Dough is ready. It's actually been sitting out for about five hours. Now it needs to sit out for just at least three. Now we just need a well floured surface. I'm just doing this on my countertop. You can do this on like a cutting board. And then we're just gonna plop it right on out of here onto our floured surface. A little bit more flour, put that on top. And then it doesn't need to be kneaded, but you just need to kind of like make sure that it's kind of covered in flour. And literally guys, like that's basically it. Now at this stage, you could add in some different ingredients. I've made it with Kalamata olives before. I've made it with garlic. I've put a little bit of cheese in here. You can pretty much do whatever your heart desires at this point. You're gonna wanna transfer it to a parchment lined bowl. Put your bread right into the bowl or whatever you got laying around. I'm just gonna cover this with a little towel while we heat up the oven. So preheat the oven to 450. Then we're gonna be baking this in a Dutch oven. This is the one that I have. You can use cast iron, you can use whatever you have on hand, but just make sure your handle is oven safe. And then we're gonna put this in the oven to preheat this along with the oven. The bread is actually going to be cooking by steam heat inside of here. So we're gonna heat this up and then wait until this gets to 450 and then put our bread in and then bake it that way. My Dutch oven is just about totally preheated. 
heated. So I'm gonna take some of this really flaky salt. This is just for like having a little bit of crunch just on top. Okay, let me go get that Dutch oven. We are going to plop our dough right inside, put the lid on, and then we're gonna put this back in the oven for 30 minutes. Bread has been baking in the Dutch oven for 30 minutes. Okay, we can get rid of the paper. You can hear a little bit of a crunch. Now you can put it back in the Dutch oven, back in the oven. For like, I usually like to do like another five minutes just to get it super crispy. Um, and then we are ready to eat some bread. Some bread ASMR. Look at how beautiful this loaf of bread is. The easiest thing in the entire world. Now I'm going to cut into it for you. I should wait till it cools, but I mean, I really can't wait. No, I should wait. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. It is cooled. Let me cut into this for you. Look at that. Oh, I bet she could smell this. You guys have to make some bread. We decorated our tree, we made some bread. It was a good day. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for day five of Vlogmas. All right, bye.